Well, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about five different stocks today. We're going to talk about Massfin, Base, AMC, AG, and AI at the request of Babu, Tough Honor, Christina Miller, and Tony Tacos. Hit that like button, you guys. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Uh, this is Cesar Gets Crypto, but I, I love talking about all things that have to do with charts, man. I don't care if it's a stock, if it's a commodity, a whatever, man. I'm, I'm down to talk about it. So uh, all these stocks are at the request of you, the viewers. So if you have any stocks that you'd like to see me do, any commodities, any cryptos, of course, um, feel free to leave it in the comment section. I'm, I'm you know, ask any of these people, right? I've, I've, I think the oldest request here is two days old, maybe, maybe three days old at the oldest, right? And uh, I do, I do each week three different days that I do requests on. So within within a two to a three day span at the most, I will tend to your requests. Sometimes life gets ahead of me and I, I'm unable to do that, but it's very far and few in between that uh, that those days come where I can't do requests in two to three days. But mo most of the time I can. And if I can't, I will catch up to it. Enough talk, man. Let's just get into it. Again, hit that like button, you guys. It really helps uh, the channel grow. It makes these videos stand out more. Um, to the YouTube algorithm and just pushes the content out from a high to low on Massfin. I think this is a fair high to low to take. Um, uh, you're holding above your 618 on this really, really well. It actually looks kind of nice. Hit your 886 back at your 618. That's kind of to be expected, I think. If we're looking at this on a weekly perspective, weekly looks fine. You're consolidating. I don't know. I think I might have been calling for you to go lower. I don't. I don't remember what my last video was, Babu. Help me remember, but. I don't know if you do move lower. I think you hold this. I think you're fine. I think it has the look of an in, or of a head head and shoulders pattern with the left shoulder and the right shoulder. But that right shoulder is so long, man. If you if you were to break out, I think you would have done it already. Daily RSI looks resilient. It is kind of weak right now, but it is resilient. Not even getting oversold. And the weekly is very neutral. I don't think you're in really that much trouble here. Let's see from a high to low. Yeah, I, I don't know. Whatever, you know, get above three hundred and ten dollars. That's your goal right now. You're at two ninety three point four. Get above three hundred and ten. When you get above there, um, you might be looking for higher prices. And really, after that, like you might be looking for new all time highs. When you stay whenever you can commit to closing above on any given like weekly basis, I would say above three hundred and seventy five and a half dollars or whatever the currency is for this. Um, when you close above this number here on any given week or month, especially month, but I'd say any given week, likely you're going to see new all-time highs. That's that's when it's go time for these these areas here. And I think you are working your way up there. I like I actually like what you're doing, consolidating around your 618 like this. I really do. Um, just don't give up that area. You don't want to give up 283.35. You don't want to give that up. So don't give it up. It's okay that you've wicked below it, but look, you haven't closed below it, right? You close below it for a time here. I wouldn't like to see that again, but to be fair, this also came in line with some higher lows. So I think that that's, you know, it's okay, whatever. And you've been holding it now. So um, I guess you have a little tolerance below that area, but I wouldn't like to see that. I'd like to see you just stay above the 618 and really get above the 886. That's your next goal. But for now, to keep it more in the near term for goals, for a high to low, your next goal would be to close above 310, essentially. So that's Massfin. Base couch base weekly perspective i actually like the rsi down here i like the price action too nice call here babu i like it buddy this is a good one low to low yeah look at that beautiful i like it trend lines aren't always the best things to go off of but it does look pretty right uh, let's see on a monthly basis what do we got here from a high to a low golden retracement down to your 382 looking good yeah i like it um, not completely perfect, but again, still holding that, that kind of trend. Let's see. What about this high to low? I think you want to move higher. Yeah, you look good. You might move lower. You, you could move to like $18 again, $18 to $18.70, something like that, and then move up. If you move down first and then move up, don't be worried. I think that you are inevitably moving higher. Probably up to like $38, $48 by the end of this year, maybe. Yeah, like genuinely. If not, early next year, but looking good, looking like it wants to move up. AMC, tough honor. 
Oh, AMC. I don't like that look. I point that out every single time, right? That's 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 a it's a naughty look right there. It's not a good look right there. Not a fan. Not a fan. This doesn't mean that it can't move up from here. It just means that likely it will not ever see prices up above this high again or probably even near these prices. Probably is, is my thoughts. Um, from the current price though, the daily RSI does not look the worst. It actually looks kind of good. I'm not going to lie. I bet you do move up more. You're consolidating. So whenever you're done consolidating and you decide to move up higher, your target area would be basically around eight bucks, eight and a half bucks. You're at $5 and 18 cents now. So when you decide to get a uh, little bit of pep in your step, that's your next target area. It could look like this. It could look like this. It could look like this. You know, like who, who knows how long it's gonna go, but um, whenever you decide to, you will. But I, I do think the next move would not be down, but likely probably up. That's that's my opinion. Unless things change in the charts, unless you start like whittling your way down constructively, whittling your way down like this, you know, and then breaking like you form a flat area here, then you break through it. Like you know, we'll we'll know before you get the the big move down. We'll know. It might be lower than the current price, but we'll know. Anyways, AMC, I think it is going to move up. It's just when really is the question. AG. First Majestic Silver Corp. This is the one, I believe, right? Christina Miller, you're the one that requested this one. $5.84. I like the weekly RSI. Uh, you might go down a little bit from here, but I do like the weekly RSI a lot. Let's look at the monthly real quick. I think this thing's looking good, actually, for like a long-term hold. Um... Short term, it might go down. You know, if you're looking to buy any, I might, I might wait. No, not financial advice, but I don't normally like it whenever you hit your three eight two and then break below your uh, two three six. But you know, it's okay. Um, normal does not mean always, right? It doesn't have to be. Let's just take this. I don't know if I should take that high. Maybe I'll take this high. We'll take the all time high after all. See, now that's a better look actually. I like that. Yeah. You can go a little bit lower. That's okay. Let's see. Okay, so looking at the weekly again, um, just to show you what I'm seeing, right, in case it's not obvious. You know, you've got, like, your little trend here with your higher lows and your higher highs, whatever, right there, right? It's kind of like a channel um, almost, however you want to draw it. You know, it might not be the most perfect-looking thing that I have drawn here. Maybe it's more like this. I don't know. Um, connecting with these lows, connecting with these highs, whatever. But it does look like you could come down a little bit more, but you'd, you'd still have... Uh, a cushion right to come back up with this general area of, of support down here so let's see if that makes sense on the daily and with the fibs real quick low to high yeah I would say so. it, it makes sense you're at 584 I bet you go down to 546 to five dollars and 20 cents somewhere in here over the coming weeks over the you know probably over the coming weeks it's not gonna happen like that I mean it could but I would think it's, you know, you've probably got a little bit of time, weeks, months of consolidating still. Uh, daily RSI looks like it wants to move down as well. So, yeah, I feel confident that 546 to 520 is where you're going to go. And then from there, probably move up. If you go lower, don't don't fret, you know, five or $4.80 could still hold, and that's, that's fine. But I would expect that you hold this area personally. So that's AG. Um, and, again, it probably won't happen like this. If it does happen like that, if it, if it just snaps on down there, um, cool that means you're getting ready to move up sooner than later but uh, you're moving down with decreasing volume it's just a matter of time before you flip this thing to the upside uh, in my opinion what's the dividends pay on this thing you didn't tell me it pays dividends I, I get why you didn't tell me okay yeah it's that's not worth talking about is it did they pay good ones at once and then at like one point in time and then they just had people hooked on the idea that it might happen a lot of companies do that that's really just this is not anything at all. Like, why even pay dividends? Someone's got to have a lot of money to be making any kind of significant cash on this. What's the market cap of this thing? I mean, probably like the CEO. I don't know. If you would get, if, if you're the CEO and you hold shares, you're getting paid dividends too. You're paying yourself out, right? Right? Isn't that how it works? 
Like it'd be all shareholders. Anyways, um, or maybe it's not. I, I don't know the rules of the stock market. I would assume that's how it is, though. Anyways, before I continue to talk about things that I am not the most competent of, let's get back to the things that I have somewhat of a competence of. AI for Mr. Tony. Um, hmm. Very neutral RSI. Neither bullish nor bearish, I would say. I don't mind the price. I don't mind what you're doing. You're just kind of consolidating, moving sideways, whatever. Range bound. Low to high. I like that you're holding your 382 right now. Let's look at the daily. Actually, hold on. Go to the monthly. Yeah, I think it looks fine. I think it will move up in time. 2773. Is this the right one, Tony? I think this is. You you mentioned another one, but this wasn't that wasn't the one you wanted me to request. That's right. I don't know. I'm having a hard time with this one. I think you're going to move up from here. Let's see how you do with $29.50. If you can close several days above there, then yeah, you might be moving higher, but I'm having a hard time deciding if you're going to break out of this uh, consolidation range or not. Having a hard time. Let's just stick with the idea that you're in a downtrend. Okay. So you probably are going to move down as time goes on. Probably. You've got one, two, three, four. One more leg down. Five. Yes, I think so. Up, relatively speaking. But I don't think that you'll get above that area that I was talking about, like 29, 28 bucks, whatever it was. I think you move up, and then you move down. I'm curious though, if you actually even find support on this line, or if you find support somewhere above it, you might get what they call a partial decline. I think, I feel comfortable in saying it's gonna go down. I think it is gonna go down over the weeks and months. Low to high, probably, I'm gonna guess around there, around like 2350. You could go as low as 1850, okay? Time will tell. If you close any given week above $33.73, this 236 here, I, I'm wrong, and you're not moving down, you're moving up. You're breaking this to the upside, okay? This is your, this is your I'm moving up phase right there, right? Or you're, you're moving up line, I don't know, what to call it, man. But it does look like it does look like you're moving down. We're gonna stick with the trend. Trend is your friend till the end of the trend. Right now, I don't think it's the end. Normally they come in threes or fives. You've got a one, two, three, four, five, right? Probably. And this in itself, this move up was a correction of the overall down move, right? Because a corrective move is normally three waves, and you got one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. I don't know. I don't know what it'll look like, but I think you are on your last leg down. And then hopefully that brings prosperity afterwards. We'll see how that goes. But that's that's all I got, guys. If you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you all for being here. The last one, uh, I was just deep in thought because I had to figure out what I wanted to say. I want to be bullish for you, Tony. I really do. But I, I think, relatively speaking, you do move up a little bit. But I think overall it is, it is going to move down. And then, you know, as time goes on, it... it has a chance of coming back up. But as, as of right now, I'm calling for it to go down. So um, that's all I got. Bye-bye.